Okay, so we want to be able to understand where this formula came from, because sine, cosine, cosine, sine, where in the world does that come from? So I want you to imagine that we have our unit circle here, okay? And that we've rotated alpha and beta, okay? So the radius here is going to be 1. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start filling in some of the things we know just based off of this first right triangle, okay? Now, the idea here is that these two angles together, this right here is going to be the point sine, well, sorry, not sine. It's going to be cosine of alpha plus beta, sine of alpha plus beta, because you could picture this point here kind of being rotated along the unit circle. And <clears throat> there will be a couple of ways that we can see it so that we, we know that actually sine is going to be sine, cosine, cosine, sine. So we have rotate alpha, and then we rotate beta some more. And so let's just focus on this beta triangle up here. Now, if you do a little trig here, and if this hypotenuse is 1, we can actually figure out this base. Let's just call it x for now. So to figure out the base, it would be adjacent over hypotenuse. So if we did cosine of beta, it would be the, the adjacent over hypotenuse, x over h. And h here is just 1. So what we're really seeing here is that this isn't x. In terms of beta, this is actually just cosine beta right there. OK. And now the same thing is going to happen here with the opposite side. If you do sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, you'll find that this is actually sine of beta. Okay. Now, we can actually use this hypotenuse now, and we can figure out the adjacent side and the opposite side. Doing kind of the same thing, let this be x. Then you're going to set up something in terms of alpha. So this would be cosine of alpha equals adjacent over hypotenuse which would be x over cosine beta. Now, if I multiply by cosine of beta on both sides, x is actually going to be cosine alpha cosine beta. Okay. Now, if you do something very similar here, instead of cosine, let's think about sine, and we want to figure out why there. We can set up sine of alpha equals opposite over hypotenuse. So we have y equals cosine of beta times sine of alpha. Okay, so let me erase that and write that in here. This would be sine alpha cosine of beta. Okay, so going this far, I think you can kind of see now where the cosine cosines, where the sine cosines are coming from. Now the other thing that we have to think about is if we were to create a right triangle in here, we'd be able to figure out the rest of this height. And what I mean is, the height of this point is going to be this side plus the side of this small blue triangle that I wrote in. And so this is the height, the si height is sine of alpha plus beta, but another way to write it is to look at these two triangles and look at the height here plus the height right here. And so part of it is already sine alpha cosine beta, but we have to figure out an expression for this. Now, you, you'll notice here that this little blue triangle, if I write it to the side, is actually sine of beta, and it's a right triangle. Now, we know that these angles are actually related to each other because these are similar triangles. And so... Okay, and so the easiest way I have to show this is that if you were to extend this line here, you have a parallel line to the base here. And because that's a parallel line, this is alpha, which means this little angle in here is going to be alpha as well. And so this right here is 90 degrees minus alpha, but then that just means that this is alpha up here as well. And so it's it takes a little bit to get in your head, but I think you can convince yourself that in this triangle, this is actually alpha. Okay, now we can set up a sine and cosine to figure out these sides. Let's let this be x. If I want to figure out x in this blue triangle, this is going to be opposite over hypotenuse 
sine of alpha equals opposite over sine of beta. And so what we're saying here is that the side on the bottom of this blue triangle is actually sine alpha sine beta. So let me write that here. Okay, and then if you do the same kind of work here, and you try to figure out this y here, it's going to be cosine of alpha equals y over sine of beta. So this side is going to be cosine alpha sine of beta. Okay, so that was a lot of work to find all these random things. But now we can actually start to figure out our, our formulas. And so let's start with the sine of alpha plus beta. Sine of alpha plus beta is this point's height. Okay. Now, sine of alpha plus beta, if you were to just put sine of the two angles added together, you would just get the height. But we can actually think of it as two different heights of these two triangles added up. So you take this height and you take this height, which ends up being this, you add them together and you would get the height. So this would be sine of alpha cosine beta sine cosine of alpha sine of beta. Okay, and then if you want to do the same thing for cosine, just remember that cosine is distances left or right. Cosine of alpha plus beta. Now going to be the entire width here. Well, the width up to this point right there. And so you'll notice something. You're going to be going along here. Cosine alpha cosine beta. But to get to the point, you actually have to backtrack a little bit. And that little bit is right here, the base of this small triangle, which is sine alpha sine beta. So you got to subtract sine alpha sine beta. Okay, so I'm showing this to you guys because I was never, it was never proven to me why this worked. I just used it. And so there is a way to prove it this way. There, there are some other cool proofs out there. There's ones involving matrices that are, it's especially beautiful, but... We don't really learn matrices anymore. So I hope you at least get a sense for why the formulas are the way they are.